So now we're moving on to virtual machines, also known as VMs. And so the idea here is that if you had a physical server and you had the capability of running virtual machines, that's like running a machine within a machine. And so now you're able to run multiple applications on a single machine. Uh, the technology that's used to actually run VMs is known as hypervisor. There's, there are some other kinds, but the ones we need to know uh, is hypervisor. So just know that that's the software that makes virtual machines work. Um, you are now sharing the physical server with multiple customers. That is generally a good thing because you are paying a fraction of the server cost. You don't have to buy that server outright. Um, you are still going to be uh, uh, overpaying for under, underutilized, uh, uh, the underutilization of a virtual machine because it still has that issue of, of wasted space because you have to choose a particular size of virtual machine. It's not going to be perfectly fit for your application. Uh, you are going to be limited by your guest operating system. So whatever OS that you've chosen, that's what you get. Um, uh, so that's, that's what you have there. If you want to run multiple apps on a single virtual machine, they can still result in conflict uh, resource sharing. But now uh, customers that are isolated from you aren't going to conflict with you. So you can run, you could run, uh, uh, if you had three apps, you could run them as three virtual machines. So you're not going to have that issue. But if they're on the same VM, you still have that issue. So there you go. That is virtual machines. And we'll move on to containers.